So now, I mean, they have the wiki site where they can go visit on a regular basis. They're doing hands-on labs all the time. Uh, we actually took the home, ec the old home economics lab. And, and turned it into a Collection 21 lab. So they have the best technology, kids love it, it's air conditioned, but it turned into a 21st century lab and we're heading in that direction. Uh, we're already in the 21st century. So. Great. Can you calculate the amount of energy that you're going to transfer into that water? Exploration 21 is a new and exciting way of teaching science. It was developed by cognitive learning system scientists and educators based on sound educational and neurocognitive principles. Exploration 21 is aimed at all levels of student and is based on the National Research Council's framework for K-12 science education. And how do, you, how do you learn a new concept in Exploration 21? Let's say like you were just going to start with Motown Motors and you started with that earlier this week. What do you do to learn about this whole, all the new concepts? I, well first I go on like Great Connect and I read what she tells us to do. And it's usually I read the wiki sites okay. and I get to like read through it and then I see how the Motown Motors are used, like how like different motions go on. Like I believe there's like a piston and that keeps it moving, like I read about that last night. And like seeing it, and like it helps you like pass the test. And where is it? You're talking about like you read it and you saw it. Where, where do you go to find that uh, information? You go on Expiration 21 and then you have to put in the password that she gives us. And then we scroll down and it says Motown Motors 3.1 and you click on that and you go on 3.11. Like we had two different kinds we had to read last night. It was 3.11 and 3.12. I learned uh, how to like set up the lab equipments and use different kinds of labs. This is my like this is my first year ever like using lab stuff before, like working with like gases and different kind of chemicals. So I thought it was like pretty cool. In Exploration 21, physical, chemical, and biological concepts are integrated into a meaningful whole. This is accomplished by focusing not on individual isolated scientific principles but by studying these principles in an integrated way to really understand and appreciate their importance. Focusing on the problems and issues related to the 2010 BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico, students learn a multitude of essential and basic scientific concepts. However, instead of memorizing a list of facts, they use these concepts to understand and explain the events that monopolize the front pages of newspapers around the world. Concussion is a unit or sector about a ninth grade soccer player named Nikki. Over a period of about six weeks, students learn the important interplay between physical, chemical, and biological factors as Nikki recovers and returns to the field. Finally, in the spring, things begin to warm up with Motown Motors. As one 
one can imagine, a sector on the internal combustion engine and automotive engineering offers rich opportunities for students to learn and appreciate key scientific concepts. And with Exploration 21, this is accomplished by using a seven-day schedule and beginning with Journal Club. In Journal Club, students read excerpts of scientific papers or news articles related to the scientific concepts they will encounter in the upcoming sector. Journal Club is held outside the lab, so some teachers allow students to bring in and share snacks with their classes during Journal Club. In addition, each day of the seven-day sequence also includes specific concepts that must be mastered, as well as meaningful homework to prepare the students for lab. Three of the seven days in each sequence are lab days. On day two, students can test the equipment and protocols that they will then use on days three and five. Day two, lab prep day, that's the day they come in, they learn about how to work with the software, how to set it up on the computer, how to assemble the equipment because some days due to schedule changes, we don't have a full 44 minute period. Lab day three and five, they come in, their Logger Pros are set up, their Excel spreadsheets are set up, they come in, they set up the equipment and they get right to it. On day three, it's teamwork in the lab. Students work in groups, digitally collecting data and then emailing that data both to their teacher and to each other for use later that evening. In the evening of day three, students work either alone or together online. They analyze and prepare their data for discussion in class on day four. It is during these discussions that the scientific theory and lab practice come together. Kind of like you get more down to their level. You try to imagine the questions that they have in their mind, formulate them, and have them answer you back. Rather than saying, this is the formula for this. This is how you use that. Well, think about this. How are you going to use that? What's the purpose of what we did today? And making, making them think and use their brain. Making, making them think, think and use their brains. Day five is another day of work in the lab, followed by another evening of data analysis. On day six, like day four, students discuss day five results with each other, guided by their teacher. Finally, on day seven, students take an online quiz, receiving their results immediately. This leads to either instant gratification and reward, or signals the need to re-examine the material. Either way, the students will have the opportunity to be tested on the material again. Day seven ends with the assignment of journal club reading for the next sequence, and the cycle starts all over again with day one, journal club, of the next sequence in the sector. Sequence after sequence, the year progresses. Students quickly get into the rhythm of Exploration 21. They always know what to expect. As a result, they are free to concentrate on understanding new scientific principles and mastering new scientific skills. I even have kids now that when the lab is done, they start working on the lab analysis. I have like five or six kids that are routinely sending me lab analysis before the lab period's done. They talk about it as they're going through doing the experiment. And what have you heard from parents? Um, parents who, let's say, are per, uh, come with prospective students, as well as parents who have students already in the program. Most people enjoy the program, their kids like it, so that's what's important. If the students are enjoying it, uh, they go home to their parents and say, this is what we did, and it's exciting. It's one of the first stops during our open houses, if I'm, or if I'm taking a parent around or a future student, one of the first stops that I bring to is the Exploration 21 lab. And when you tell people that there's no textbooks, it's hand, online testing and quizzes, you can get your homework at any time, and you're always working in the lab, they're very excited about it.